So here's a coding challenge I had the opportunity to create. It's essentially a data visualization dashboard that's customer facing. And on the front end, I'm using React. On the back end, I'm using Node, Express, MongoDB, and Mongoose. So the idea is that data is coming from the back end and populating charts that will show up on the right hand side when selected. Uh, for demonstration purposes, I have created a couple of buttons here to automatically generate data and then to manually input data with a form. So to begin, we can select any of these charts. So I'll select the pie chart and then automatically generate uh, some data. And I'm using Faker to generate the data and populating chart.js to create these charts. It provides some nice hover effects and then we can disable and enable these pie slices as well. So to manually input the data, we can select the manually button and a form pops up. And on submit, we have our chart here to select. So when we select it, it populates on the right hand side and we get two charts. So the idea is that you can toggle these on and off and on load, we have persistence of the data of what's selected. Now, being that this is the load page, we can actually select these and edit the content, whether it's manually input or automatically generated. We have access to all of this information. So going back to the pie charts, if we generate enough data on the left-hand side, this widget will actually scroll. So it's a fixed element with scroll. And then if we select enough charts, the right side scrolls independently. So just to show off some of the other charts, I'll select a scatter and we've got some nice animations here. So overall, this was a great coding exercise because it not only involved working with a lot of data coming from the back end, but allowing the user to manipulate that data and then input their own data, send it to the back end, store it, shoot it back to the front end, and then apply it to Chart.js. So overall, it was a lot of fun.